Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Windover House course on Beowulf. I'm Sam Conan, your instructor for this class. The text for this class is Seamus Heaney's masterful translation of Beowulf, a 1,200-year-old poem written in Old English. Heaney was a Nobel Prize-winning Irish poet, and his translation of Beowulf is arguably the best in modern English, and will be for many years to come. Feel free to use another translation of the poem for this course if you'd like, but I strongly recommend that you add Heaney's version to your uh, to, to read list as soon as you can. This course is divided into five sections, one introduction section and four sections on the poem. Each section has a reading assignment that you should finish before beginning the video lessons that correspond to the reading assignment. Because the poem is just under 3,200 lines long, each reading assignment is fairly short around 800 lines. Each lesson that corresponds to the reading assignment is broken down into shorter videos to help you move through the material easily and at your own pace. Before talking about the poem itself, I want to give you a few suggestions to help guarantee your success in this class. First of all, read with a pencil. Write all over your book as you work your way through the reading assignment. This increases your attention as you read and helps you remember what it is that you read. After watching the lesson videos, add notes to the reading for next time. Secondly, I recommend that you handwrite notes on the video lessons. Everyone knows that taking notes is important and that it helps you re retain the things that you've learned. A lot of people don't realize that handwriting your notes is more effective than typing your notes. Recent research shows that people who take notes with a regular pen and paper retain what they learn far longer than those who type notes into an electronic device. Don't try to capture the lesson verbatim as you write notes either. The process of rephrasing what I'm saying into your own words is a vital part of the learning process. The third piece of advice for success is to share your response and thoughts with others. After you finish each lesson, take a few minutes to share your response with other Windover House members. This may be intimidating at first, but this may be the most important part of the class. Take a few moments after each lesson to think about what your reading is saying about you and about what you need to do in your own life. Let this poem read you and reveal things about yourself you didn't see. Craft these revelations into a short paragraph and share them with the rest of the community. Be brave and be honest. I'm so glad you decided to take this course. This is one of my favorite pieces of English literature in the entire Western canon. So let's get started.